Hey guys and welcome back to another train simulator video. Today we're going to be driving a service from Allgate to Edgeware Road via the lower circle part of the line. Uh, let's put the straight into forward. Let's put the headlights on. In cab lights on and yeah, let's get going. Our first station is Allgate. So we're basically doing the whole uh, circle line from uh, Hammersmith all the way around towards Edgeware Road. But since this route um, doesn't contain the upper half of the circle line, we're starting just before Allgate Station. C69 stock. We've got two uh, Metropolitan Line services that have terminated at Allgate. I believe one of them is using it as a S7 Hamster City Line, so. I'll probably depart soon. And we are going to be following a district line train up until I think Gloucester Road, so. We're not too much in a rush to uh, speed from your stations. Alright. Let's take a nice screenshot. Nice. Yeah, that train's departing towards uh, Organ East, which is the next station on the Hammersmith City Line. I think that's the wrong map. I think we need to look at this one. Nope, this one's wrong as well. But yeah. Let's get going. Next station is Tower Hill. If you want to play this scenario, you only need to download the virtual district line version 3. Uh, this train, as well as the D78 stock and the 1973 stock, does come free with the route, so you don't need to download anything additionally. And to get this scenario specifically, you can just go to um, the Alan Thompson website and download it from there. Do check my spreadsheet in the description for more information. As we approach Tower Hill. I mean, we don't really need to stop in this uh, zone because that's for the Newer uh, S stock trains. Got a D stock here, or two D stocks. As it departs, and this train's ready to depart. Mind the doors. Next station is Monument.
circle line heading probably back towards Edgar Road. So this scenario has a lot of AI trains, so uh, I would recommend playing in 64 bit. Maybe lowering down the graphic settings because it's quite a lot of trains. And there's a good chance the game will crash, unfortunately. Since this train is not very optimized. However, this is quite a small route, so and it does run pretty well on train simulator, so. Shouldn't have too many issues. The next station is Cannon Street, which is here for South Houston services, as well as the District Line. Some of these stations are extremely close to each other. I could argue a bit pointless. I mean, we're literally at Cannon Street already. It's not even taken us 10 seconds to even reach here. Street. Mind the doors between the train and platform edge. Unfortunately, this doesn't update, so it's always using Broadway and Richmond, from what I know. Natural Rail Cannon Street Station. Longer trains arriving soon on the overground. Even though there's still some times where there's only four car overground trains. Even in 2023, so. Not quite true. As we've got a uh, district line arriving at. Um, what is this again? Cannon Street. We're approaching Mansion House. This is Mansion House. Approaching Blackfriars, change here for Thameslink services, um, Southeastern services, and District Line.
Blackfriars. Mind the gap between a train and platform edge. So I'm just going to quickly check the map. So let's see if Temple Station is clear. No, it's not. So as you can see, there's a train at Temple, so we do need to wait. So that is a district line, I'm guessing towards either Richmond or uh, Eating Broadway, so... Yeah, we can't really move. Hopefully that train moves. Mind the gap between the train and platform edge. Let's have a look at the passenger view. Still don't know how to on the lights in the cab, but anyways. There's the map. So the district line service. I think it's a circle line actually. Is it? No, it's a district line. Quickly look at the map. So yeah. Um, Temple Station is clear and that train is departing. So I'm just going to wait until that train arrives at Embankment, realistically. Otherwise we'll just have to wait at each station anyway. circle line I mean if this route was connected to the um, metropolitan line then we could probably do the whole circle line apart from the branch line to Hammersmith unfortunately because that's not in the game I think it might be but it's on a separate route again so probably quite difficult to merge three routes uh, where's that train going? So that train is at embankment. Right, I think we should be good to go. Next station is Temple. Mind the gap between the train and platform edge. Temple. Let's change over the district line. As it is with most of these stations. Train is ready to park mine doors. Next station is the Bankments. We can change with the district line as well as the Bakerloo line.
to Westminster, so we should hopefully not catch it up. The AI train is quite slow compared to us, so I wouldn't be surprised if we do catch it up. Now approaching embankments, which is very busy. Bankmans. I do like the tiles and um, bank ones. Really nice. Got the different colours like the, I guess the Piccadilly line, district line, circle line and central line. Right, let's get going. Next session is Westminster. Westminster, change here for the Jubilee line. Westminster. Mind the gap between a train and platform edge. Clear to go. Uh, St James's Park is clear. So that's at Victoria still. So I'm gonna wait until that train departs. But yeah, we are catching that train quite fast. Unfortunately. But as soon as we get to Gloucester Road, it will uh, turn off, and we should be clear to run to uh, Edgware Road. Oh, that's the part of Victoria. Let's get going. Approaching St. James's Park. Oops. And the 
just recline the parts very slowly. Right, time for us to part. Next station is Victoria. We can change the Victoria line, district line, national rail services, Victoria coach station, and of course Quebec Express. I love how it is it's actually flashing as it departs, anyways. breaking from my liking but I actually thought I was gonna double shoot this. There you go. The Victoria lines up here. Blockminster and Circle Line. I love how you just say circle line. So I guess the destination can change during a trip. Train to Gitwick Airport is there. check Sloan Square is fine and that trains up arriving at South Kensington so it should be good but yeah as soon as it parts um, lost the real that we should be good since it will, it will dive I think it, it arrives on a different Platform across the road, so it changes uh, towards uh, Richmond and Eagle Way. stations which doesn't really know that properly. I'm not 100% sure if it's in a tunnel or not so Get going. Next station is South Kensington, which should be clear. Yep. Just want to double check since there's quite a lot of signals ahead of us.
come down to 30 and we approach South Kensington. South Kensington. Let's just quickly check. Kensington's there, Gloucester Road is there, and obviously that train is heading towards Old Scott because that's going to either Richmond or Healing Progress, so we should be good. Uh, we do have some red signals as you can see before we turn off towards uh, Edgeway Road, so. We will probably need to wait for a few minutes as there's quite a lot of AI trains. Next station, Gloucester Road. station so, yeah got Ealing Broadway, Putney Bridge, Wimbledon oh yeah trains go to Wimbledon as well my bad I forgot about that destination right the question is can we go so there's a green light here but I think there's a red light somewhere So that's a green light, that's not a green light. I don't see any other trains, so... Alright, let's get going. I'm actually gonna go really slowly because last time... scenario it actually was a red signal and I passed it so for some reason it's a green one today so maybe the scenario was just broken last time but yeah next station is High Street Kensington It's 
terminating platform left to us. Actually, I'm going up the last one while we're losing speed. This is how she's Kensington. Terminating platform here. I think this is where the, they do um, district line services towards uh, Kensington Olympia via the shuttle service. There's actually two terminating platforms here. Interesting. But yeah, let's get going. Next station is Notting Hill Gate. Uh, followed by, I think, Paddington and Edger Road. Yep, so almost there. Uh, we are going uphill though. As we approach Notting Hill Gate. Screenshot though. Off the station water. <laughs> Obviously, the bay part is gone. Right, next station is Paddington, where you can change for the Bay Canoe Line, the District Line, Heathrow Express.
now approaching Paddington. Line the gap between the train and platform edge. Paddington, three dog Paddington. I do like these bridges, which I'm guessing you can walk on, if I'm not mistaken. What did I say? Westbound service, I think. Right, I'm just gonna check if we're clear to arrive at uh, Edgeway Road. Oops, that's the wrong way. We're not going back towards Bayswater. Um, no, there's a red signal there. Yeah, we can't really go. We're waiting for that train that's departing. Uh, Edgeway, Edgeway Road. I think. Not sure. Unless that train's crossing over towards Paddington, Hammersmith, and City Line platforms, then I'm not sure. I mean, we definitely have a red signal, so. Not sure if we need to click tab or not. Waiting for that train, as I ex kind of thought. So this signal should change. To green, and then we should be good to go. Yep, there we go. Cool. Sessions Edra Road. But yeah, the Hammersmith and City line part isn't in the game, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure I have driven it, but I can't remember what route it was. Maybe just some, someone just made it in their free time. It probably doesn't exist anymore. Road when this train terminates, all change, all change. Road. Oops, let's just have a look at the roundels, which are really nice, Edgeway Road. This should play in one minute and circle line four minutes. Right, 19 out of 19. We used the horn improperly 10 times, but that's okay. But yeah, 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, share with your friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.